Hello and uh, welcome back to my videos. In this video, I want to speak about how we can scale up with WordPress. Uh, WordPress is a C CMS system, I think, and uh, you can use it for many things. Some people want to build uh, a for, uh, a for uh, called BBPress, and other people want to use the web shop called e-commerce. Um, you can use it for a lot of things, but when you hit the, the wall with the very high traffic, then you will realize WordPress's uh, core is not optimized as well. It's built to uh, get up and running and just work fast with, with stuff, but the the hard way is not it's not working as it should be when you're scaling up in a big uh, in a big scale. And in this uh, all of these videos, I will show how you can uh, do this in the other way and you will learn how you can scale with uh, with docker and wordpress and of course you will show uh, i will show it with the redis and something like that so i think the first thing we're going to do it's it's building the the wordpress uh, composer file we need to use uh, i have already creating the the default php file so you don't need to that for docker and uh, you can just follow this video and then you will get up and running with your own uh, PHP 8 uh, server and uh, Nginx uh, as a proxy. So that's what we're going to do today and I really hope you want to stay and don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the thing on the right corner and uh, if you have any questions please make comments below I'll try to answer them. So let's go ahead. So the first thing we're going to do is creating the composer file so just click this and say docker composer compose.jaml inside the jaml file we say we want to use the version 3.9 is the newest at the moment and then we need the service inside the service we want to say nginx and php server because we need a mysql and redis and something like that when we're sitting and working locally but for now we're just doing this we take it a step by step based on what video you want to watch and then we say build and whoops you just say context the context is where the docker file is placed and it's placed in the root for the composer file the pause we want to open because we use it locally i'll say uh, 83 and 81 and routing to the port 8080 then we need the volumes and the volumes should be VP, VP. And we say VVV. So that's the the mount we're gonna do now. And uh, to confirm this working, we need to say volumes down below here and say VVV, oops, VP, VVV. And then the composer file basically is up, uh, up and running and finished. But because we are using the, the dot here, we need a, a docker file. And this is the project we want to work with. And this one, we will change a little bit over time. And then we say PHP 8. Here's this one. And uh, work here should be this one and we copy everything from app to the VBV and uh, then we will have one called install vpcli because we need that so we need to install the CLI from WordPress so let's say run curl o and then we say, I just copied this from my documentation so we don't waste too much time for just one. You can just check this and uh, just pause the, the video and type it down in your command line. See how much. And we will make it executable. And then we got to move it around.
and we want to use for local bin vp so every time you going down to the command line and say vp something then you will get access for the vp cli directly so type run and vp info you don't need this but i'm when i'm building the image on github action i just confirm the the vp cli is, is installed and then we say copy Uh, yeah, let me just say copy. Boot up, boot up. Dot sh, and then we say bar app docker boot up dot sh, and then we say cmd sh. Var app docker boot up dot sh and the command we, we are calling is the docker boot up script and of course you can you can uh, uh, work without that and just put the one line that we put inside here uh, directly inside and remove this line but why I'm doing this it's basically because I have uh, working a lot with the with WordPress now in the in the last half year, not uh, as developer, more like a DevOps. So what I'm discovered is many times we need to run commands, and then you need to modify your central Docker file and rebuild the image to to do this. And I don't like the way that's working on, and I really like when you just restart the container and then it's just snap it and run the command so that's very nice and everybody that can running the, the linux command out there yeah they basically can running inside the docker boot up and don't uh, thinking about did i mess something up in the configuration file for docker so yeah that that's working pretty good and um, and then you just need to create the docker uh, boot up file and, and then we need to feeling a little about inside uh, before we are ready to make uh, the app folder so let's uh, set up what we want here And then we're creating the app index file and say uh, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do. Just say PHP info, and then everything should be good to go. So, what we're gonna do now, say docker compose up, you can see it here in the command line, and then it's just running and we're just waiting. And now it's up and running. So let's open the browser and see the local host. And as you can see, we have the local host 83 and 81, and then we have the PHP version 806. And we can scroll down and see what is enabled and everything is running smooth. Now I'm running on Windows when I'm coding and I'm using Linux for, for maintaining of the systems. So in this workflow, I think it's working pretty good for me. If you are running on Windows and you, you think, how did I connect this mount? Because we are using the, a way to don't binding on dot slash folder. So we getting the speed up from, from the Linux environment. So the Windows VSL doesn't need to transport the file system from Windows to Linux and it's very very slow when you are working with uh, PHP I don't know why but it is and uh, that's why I'm always using the, the docker mount because it's working much faster the problem is how did you found this uh, folders again 
and that's what we're gonna gonna speak about now so let's open the this pc and in your uh, this pc and if you're running vsl2 you can directly do this and say double slash vsl dollar sign then we are getting access for the file system and then we can just say docker data desktop data that's one and then we're just founding the version packs and communication and docker and volumes and inside here you can see i have different volumes what we want to use now is the scale with wordpress underscore vp data inside this folder you get the data folder just right click sorry just click inside and copy the the line here right click and cut then going for your pc again and just right click and add network uh, locations click next and choose your network uh, locations put it inside and just put next and here we want to say scale wordpress data vvv and then just finish we want to open it so we want to open it again yeah so now it's open if i'm closing down you can see i have it here with network locations i have my sonos beam and sonos play bar my location network storage and then i get my folder here everything is perfect and the nice stuff here if i need to change something i can just say open with code and then i just open the code here you can see and you can see the code here and i can just say echo test and whoops test and when i do this and going back and reload everything is fine so that's how you can work with the docker and how you can making the scale up uh, component for the first time and i know this has nothing with wordpress to do but this is the very very first step you need to have your docker composer file uh, ready and you need to work with the next step before we are ready to to do the wordpress thing so hold on and watch the next video where you want to install the wordpress with the composer that would be the very first video with wordpress so hope to see you don't forget to subscribe in the right corner below in the and the present thing if you have any questions please make a comment below in the comments fields and don't forget to like and share thank you and see you next time